everyone, Argama Witch here, and today I'm back playing Steins Gate. Uh, in the last episode, we were trying to help Suzuha fix her time machine so she can go back in the past, even though she really doesn't want to. Or we don't really want her to either, do we? Right, anyways, beneath the clear blue sky, the time machine comes to life. Dado's repairs are complete. Mayuri and I help drain the last of the water out of the cockpit. The machine is still stuck in the Raidikan's wall, but that's a small matter. I feel like those panels would be needed for something. Daru gazes at the time machine with a satisfied expression. Mayuri is jumping for joy, and Kurisu, who ran over as soon as she completed the time leap machine, is visibly relieved. Meanwhile, Suzuha is struggling to attach her mountain bike to the time machine's exterior. She likes it so much she wants to bring it with her to 1975. Krusu was worried that it might cause a time paradox. My heart is still heavy. Should I let Suzuha leave like this? I chad myself for the thought. It's not my choice to make. Suzuha isn't from this time. If she doesn't want to stay, then I have no reason to keep her from leaving. Suzuha finishes securing her bicycle and turns to us with a soft smile. It's not the painful forced smile I saw yesterday. We don't perform a startup test. Activating the time machine will draw too much attention. So we're just going to wing it. Fortunately, we have the time leap machine for insurance. My only regret is that we couldn't find her father. Thanks guys. Really, I can't thank you enough. Don't forget about us. If you want to thank me, then let's make out. Control yourself, perv. The lab mems pat Suzuha on the shoulder and offer words of encouragement, each in his or her own way. Alright, take this. Suzuha offers me her father's pin. Oshum A7010. In the end, we couldn't decipher the inscription. This is for you, Okabe Rintaro. Keep it in the lab, will you? Somewhere out of sight is fine. Suzuha? If she's regretting her decision to leave? Is this pin meant to be proof that Amane Suzuha was here with us in this time? Um, about the pin. Daru hesitates for a moment and then steps forward. Why don't we make a duplicate for all the lab mems? Make it our symbol, I guess. Wow, that's a great idea. How unusually thoughtful of you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. We already took a picture of it, so keep your pin. Amane su It belongs to your dad, right? Yeah, okay. I stay silent. There's nothing I can say. I could stop Suzuha from leaving if I tried. But unless she goes, I can't save Mayuri. I... Okay, everyone! Dun, da, da, dun. Mayushi has an important announcement to make. Mayuri suddenly raises her hand and calls for attention. As usual, she completely fails to sense the gravity of the situation. Though I suppose it's our fault for not telling her the truth about Suzuha's time machine. In any case, she has my attention. What could her announcement be? Could Mayuri have found out that she is fated to die? I quickly glance at Kurisu, but she seems just as confused as I am. I don't think Mayuri would be this happy. <laughs> then what is it? Actually, Mayushi found Suzu's dad. Huh? Eh? What? Really? Mayuri puffs out her chest proudly. Want to meet him? You do, don't you? Well, he's here with us today! Where? 
Everyone, including me, starts looking around. Mayuri has us hooked, line and sinker. I scan the empty event hall, but there's no one else here. Where could he be? Allow me to introduce you. Suzu-san's dad is... <laughs> is that a drum roll? Ta-da! Suzu-san's dad is... Mayuri flashes Suzuha a grin. Daru-kun! She thrusts her finger at Daru. Our mouths drop. After awkward silence comes awkward laughter. That joke's not even logical. It's impossible for this perv to get married in the first place. Hey, that kind of hurts. I completely agree with Christina. Daru is fated to become a wizard when he turns 30. You could be nicer about it, guys. But it's the truth, so I can't object. Aww. <laughs> Daru falls to his hands and knees, devastated. As for Suzuha herself, she clearly doesn't know how to react. Um, you know, my dad wasn't fat. Jeez, you're all so mean to Daru-kun. Mayushi, the only one who stands up for me. You're an angel, Mayushi. Do you love me? Nope. <laughs> Harsh. Uh, Mayushi is 100 million percent sure that Darukun is Suzuha's dad. Okay, what's your proof? Um, I was thinking about the letters on Suzuha's pin. After staring at it really hard, I noticed the seven in... 710 looks a little weird. It's not seven. It's a two. The line fell off the bottom. Really? Suzuha stares at the inscription on the pin again. It's so small I can't tell. It's easy to see on the picture we took. 2010? But that's this year! Then what do the letters mean? O S H M A 7010. That's what's inscribed on the pin. That's easy! And finally, Amane. What? It was right in front of us all along. We just didn't know where to look. It's our initials? So I was thinking, why 2010? And then I remembered it's the year of the lab mems. The year of the lab mems? The Future Gadget Laboratory was founded this year. So that's what it is. And you know, Suzu-san has lots of stories about future Okarin and future Chris-chan, but not a single story about Daru-kun, right? There weren't any about Mayushi either. Daru's observation startles me. It's an obvious thing to wonder about, but it strikes too close to home. Well, Mayushi's a lab ma'am, but I can't make time machines, and I don't like fighting. Of course, I'm not famous. No, the reason there aren't any stories about Mayuri is because she dies in a few hours. Only Krisu, Suzuha, and I know that, and we say nothing. But Darukun's a super hacker, and Okarin's right arm. He even helped Okarin make the phone wave chan. So I thought it was strange that Suzu-san didn't know him. So you're saying he used a different name? Barrel Teacher-san helped Okarin found the resistance, right? And he was in Akiba in 2010. And he was able to build his own time machine. And he knew about Okarin's reading spaghetti. Reading Steiner. He knew about it. 
Doesn't that fit Dado-kun perfectly? She's right. Do you remember the day Suzuha went to meet her father? She thought he would be at the time machine offline meet. We know that because we tailed her. Dado-kun was supposed to be there too, right? That meet was seriously important to the history of Japanese sci-fi. At least I got to sneak in while tailing Amaneshi. I don't remember that. It must have happened because of the d-mail I sent. This is the curse of reading Steiner. Though I keep my memories from previous world lines, I don't acquire memories of the events on the new world lines. Dad told me about that meet when I was little. I don't remember what he said exactly, but I thought I might be able to meet him there. So if I had been at that meet, everything would have been okay? Mm, I don't know. I don't think I'd have picked you out as my dad. Still, the evidence keeps piling up. And then there's the time machine name. FG204 something something. Uh, what was it? FG204 second edition version 2.31. That naming sense. It's got to be Daru. And FG probably stands for Future Gadget. So Suzuha's time machine is Future Gadget number 204? Finally, his name, Battle Teeter, has to be Darukun. Come to think of it, last night, Mayuri, Mayuri asked how to say barrel in Japanese. Baru is Taru in Japanese, right, Christian? Kristu nods. Taru? 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 Taru. Daru. It's a pun? Okay, Suzu-san. Say, Hashira Itaru ten times fast. Why? Just say it and find out. <laughs> Just now. Didn't it sound like Daitor? It did. Hashida Itaru. Hashida Itaru. Hashida Itaru. For reals? For super reals! I can't believe it. But with all this evidence laid out in front of me, I can't deny it either. Everyone's jaws drop again. Only this time we're staring at Daru and Suzuha. I think she looks like her father. That could just be the placebo effect. But now that you mention it, they kind of do look alike. Nice work, Mayuri. You'll make a great detective one day. A detective? <laughs> That's the first time anyone said that. She's such a ditch ditz most of the time, but maybe she's more perceptive than anyone knows. My daughter? Amane, she's my daughter? Daru's wide eyes point to Suzuha. Daru's Daru, wide eyed, points to Suzuha while flapping his lips like a fish out of water. Dad. So, 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 uh, could you call me Papa instead? For once in your life, don't be a perv. Dosa. Papa. Suzuha tries to hold back her tears but can't. They fall from her eyes and roll down her cheeks. Ooh. Seeing this, Dado stops his joking and lets Suzuha speak. I came, Dad. I came to see you. In the time machine you built. Yeah. I'm going to finish what you started. I promise. Mm. Watch over me, okay? 
I'm watching. Of course I am. Suzuho walks up to Daru and hugs him gently. Daru awkwardly, awkwardly but firmly hugs her back. Father and daughter reunited across time. I'm truly glad we could bring them together. By the way, was your mother cute? Request petite girls with cute face and big boobs? <laughs> That's a secret. When Suzuha finally steps away from Daru, she's smiling once again. Well, that takes care of everything I wanted to do on this world line. Guess I should be going. Wait, you're going already? Don't you have more to say to your father? What am I doing? Suzuha's mind is set. I know that nothing I can say will convince her to stay. It's madness to even try. If she stays, Mayuri dies. I know that. So why am I trying to stop her? No, I'm fine now. I'm going to get the IBN 5100, just like I promised. She looks at us with the face of a warrior. I'll bring it to you here in Akihabara. That's my duty, and I'll see it through. The rest is up to you. Change the future. Please? Nobody speaks. Nobody nods. We don't have the words. But she sees it in our faces. Resolve. Suzuha has entrusted us with her will and her mission. We will meet her gaze, each of us, and silently swear to protect them to the end. The future Suzuha came from is not the future we desire. In Suzuha's time, daughter and I fought to change it. This time, we'll make sure it never happens. Mayuri, and Mayuri will live. Kurusu will be free. Suzuha will grow up knowing her father. We must change the future, that all these things may come to pass. Well, see you in 35 years. Although, I guess it'll only be a few hours for you guys. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot. The time machine gives off a terrific ultraviolet rays when it jumps, so make sure not to look directly at it. And with that final warning, Suzuha boards the time machine. She waves once, and then the hatch closes behind her. Moments later, the time machine comes to life. A shrill alarm starts ringing. There is no other sounds. It makes less noise than I expect. People in the street below start shouting and cheering at the satellite sun activity. They all look up and point. My phone vibrates. I quickly take it out and open it. The mail is from Suzuha. Goodbye. When I failed to stop her on a previous world line, she sent me the exact same message before leaving. But this time, the world holds a completely different meaning. The words hold a completely different meaning. I lift my eyes from the message to see the space around the time machine begin to warp. A cocoon of light appears and envelops the fuselage. I squint my eyes against the brilliance. Suzuha. Suzuha? We will never see her again. Not this Suzuha. Yes, we can seek her out in our time. I know that I will make the effort. But the next time we meet, an Im immense gulf of time will have divided us. No matter how hard we wish it were different, she will not be the girl we knew. All of a sudden, daughter takes a step into the light. I'm sure we'll meet again. I'll do my best until then. I hate myself for not knowing any other way to say it, but I'll do my best. I'll do my best, I promise. So, Suzuha, do your best, too. His ridge probably can't reach her anymore. As the light grows more intense, I raise my hand to shield my eyes. Bathed in radiant particles, the cocoon slowly, slowly unfurls. The next thing I know, Suzuha's time machine has vanished into thin air, leaving a hole the size of a dump truck in Radikan's wall. The air is thick with the smell of ozone, and it seems to pull softly where the machine stood. We stand there for a while, staring silently at the empty spot while a summer breeze blows gently past. 
as if the wind were fate itself. And on that note, I'm leaving this episode here. It is a joyous, bittersweet episode where Suzuha finally learns who her dad is and then has to leave. But it was a great episode. I, I really enjoyed it. It's a little heartfelt. Makes my heart go doki doki. Anyways, uh, if you're enjoying Steinskate and you want to see more from me, then please subscribe and do all that YouTube shit. And in the next episode, we're going to see if we can't save Mayori? Question mark. So I'll see you then.